We are going to take you live now to China, where Shenzhou 9 spacecraft is preparing to blast off. On board will be China's first woman astronaut, along with two other astronauts. We're, this is the countdown. Let's listen in. Exciting moment there. We have just witnessed live the launch of Shenzhou 9 spacecraft blasting off from the remote Gobi Desert with three Chinese astronauts on board, including China's first female astronaut. Joining us now in the Sky News Centre to discuss this, space analyst Dr. Morris Jones. But Dr. Jones, thank you for, thank you for joining us. That must have been an exciting moment. It's there always for you. beautiful to see a rocket lift off into space. And tell us where the, the mission that, that this particular rocket is on. Can you explain it for us? Okay, the three astronauts are on their way to a rendezvous with a space laboratory called Tiangong-1 that's been orbiting the Earth since last year. No astronauts are on board this lab yet, so this will be the first crew to occupy China's first ever space laboratory. How difficult will that docking be? Docking is always difficult, even if you've got experience. And uh, this is the first time that the Chinese have tried to dock two spacecraft with a crew on board. They did an uncrewed docking test uh, earlier on with, uh, w with this space laboratory, and that worked out fine. Uh, but having the crew on board and trying to do it manually uh, is even more complex, so it's going to take a lot of skill to get that right. And they're going to spend some, some time on that space laboratory? They're going to live on board the lab for about 10 days and uh, they'll be doing experiments up there and medical tests and they're even taking uh, some live butterflies with them to, to do some uh, medical experiments and see how they adapt to being in weightlessness. It's all about strengthening China's expertise for its own international space station, isn't it? That's right. This is sort of phase one of a long-term plan to eventually build a much larger station uh, for China, and that will probably come in roughly a decade. So how long is this mission? About 10 days? 10 days on board the space laboratory, uh, roughly 13 days in total, and it's going to take them about two days now to reach that space laboratory. And a lot of that time, or most of that time, they'll be orbiting Earth. How, how many times will they actually get around Earth? You go around, at, at this altitude, you go around the world roughly once every 90 minutes. So uh, if you think about it, you, you stay in orbit for about 13 days. Uh, you're going to go around the world well over 100 times. So it, it's pretty good to, to see, think of how much terrain you'll get to see on a long mission like that. They'd have a pretty spectacular view from up there, wouldn't they? The when Earth? you go up there, uh, whenever you get free time, uh, what the astronauts what's loved to do is that they just run to a window and just look look back at the earth below them because it's a view that you just can't get uh, anywhere else and so that's the most popular recreational activity in space. What else would they be able to see up there other than earth? Okay, uh, believe it or not, it's not as easy to see the stars as you might think because you've, got a, you've normally got a lot of glare from the sun. Uh, so astronomy isn't that easy, but they'll have some very clear views of the moon. Uh, but the main thing, again, is looking at the, the surface of the Earth and also sometimes getting a beautiful view of the atmosphere, uh, which you can't really see the upper atmospheric layers uh, unless you're in space. There is a female astronaut on board, as we, as we keep reporting and hearing about. Why is that so significant for China? OK, this is China's first female astronaut, and she'll be going up to do a lot of medical tests and see how well she adapts to outer space. And there are some scientists who actually think that in the long term, women could be even more suitable for long space missions than men uh, because of the differences in physiology. 
And uh, we can imagine that all eyes in China will be on this mission tonight, as we're watching here live now as well. That's right. It's all over their state-run media and their websites, and uh, a lot of the Chinese internet users are all uh, logging in just to watch this. All right. Exciting times for space analysts like yourself. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming in this evening to discuss. And space analyst Dr. Morris Jones there as we watch the Shenzhou 9 spacecraft blasting off.